What's up? This is Yuda for BitLab Academy. Uh, we got top 12 free scenes every producer should know. So if you don't have any plugins or if you're looking for new ones, check out this list. Of course, there's a lot more free scenes just for Windows, just for Mac, but we try to combine a list that include multi-platform so everyone can use it. And there's even a few scenes for Linux. So for all your nerds out there, check out the blog post associated with this uh, video to get all the download links, a bit more information about the synths, but let's check them out. So first one is Surge, and this one is quite ridiculous. It's an open source. Uh, it's been maintained by a group of volunteers, but developed by Clears Johnson. Hope I say it right. Uh, it's a hybrid subtractive synthesizer, has everything here from a uh, wavetable. Let's go here and check out the oscillators. The wavetable, just classic, uh, window like more sync, sine, FM, and even an audio input. So you can use all these great built-in effects and even a vocoder it has in it. So really awesome stuff. Uh, three oscillators in one. Um, you got really great routing capabilities here for FM, uh, a lot of different um, modulators like six LFOs and six um, super LFOs, which can be uh, even an envelope. You can change it to an envelope or a step sequencer, um, double filters. They can be anywhere from regular like low pass, high pass to comp filters, sample and hold filters, really amazing stuff. And we also have a crazy um, effect section, just the effect. So because you can get uh, audio input, you can use the effects just, uh, or you can use the synth just an effect processor. So really awesome stuff. Uh, one of the best things about this is that it does support MPE, uh, multi-dimensional polyphonic expression. You even have some presets here for MPE and all the presets here are uh, really great and a lot of them and keep contributing. We even added an extra link in the blog post for you guys to download more wavetables and more presets. And all of this, what we all see is just one layer. You have you actually have another scene that you can use, and then you can uh, split the A and B to have separate, like on the lows, you have a different sound, on the high, key, on the high keys on the keyboard, you have a different sound, and even dual for layering. Um, so amazing synthesizer, free, really great stuff. Even Roger Lean, uh, with his instrument, the instrument have a video out there on the Surge website where he demonstrate the MP. Amazing capabilities. So let's just go over a few presets here. Let me put my headphones just to hear some sounds. Check out some plugs. Monosynth, bunch of cool Wind. Amazing stuff. We got the, the mixer section here uh, where you can blend in uh, the three oscillators and the ring modulation relationship and the noise. Uh, I can't say enough good things about the synthesizer. I really can't believe it's free, but that surge, check it out. Next one is Helm, uh, developed by Matt Teitel. I hope I say it right. So this is a semi-modular, subtractive synthesizer, pretty straightforward, uh, but very capable and very easy to use. So we got uh, here two oscillators and a sub-oscillator. We also have a noise generator here, um, a built-in, of course, filter with a drive, and a bunch of effects like a four-man filter, a stutter effect, distortion, delay, reverb, and even a tunable feedback section. Uh, we also have a built-in arpeggiator, and all the, ex uh, all the modulators are really awesome because we got two mono LFOs and one poly LFO, which is very cool, a step sequencer, and of course, all the expression controls on your keyboard that you can map to anything. So it's a semi-modular because you can just click, for example, the LFO, I can just click on this helm icon, and then whatever lights up, I can map it to. And it's very visual, just like uh, many other commercial scents like serum and such. So now the LFO is on the filter. If I turn on the filter, uh, let's uh, bring it down. Oh, I'm not even playing the helm. Let me switch to the helm on in Ableton. Here we go. So really great stuff. The presets here is not too many, but uh, they're great. Let's go over some presets. Put my headphones again. 
some bass and go down an octave. That's too low. Some hardcore basses. So very capable synthesizer, free. Um, I love it. When I teach synthesis in BeatLab, uh, when we do our synthesis section of our certification program, I do show Helm and tell the students to download it because it's very straightforward, but extremely, extremely powerful. Uh, so check that out. That's free as well. Okay, next one. It's an old school one, uh, but uh, extremely capable. Um, and comes with so many synths. There's even, I gave you a link in the post. You can even download a preset pack with 25,000 sounds or presets. Good luck going over all of them. So this is synth one. Definitely not uh, nice looking. I don't like the how it looks. Uh, you can change the skins. Uh, just colors. It's like two colors you can choose. Uh, very extensive forums and stuff because people are uh, use it for many, for many years. And it is um, trying to emulate the Nord uh, Lead 2, the red synth. Uh, you can check it out in the blog post again. I gave you a few uh, links there. And it is uh, kind of very bright, kind of very almost similar to the virus synth. So very good for trans stuff and uh, all those type of different sounds. Uh, let me go to the bank here. Uh, and let me go external. Here we go, synth. One, let's go through some presets. So just simple, two oscillators. The interface does look like the Nord, actually. One LFO, one envelope, one filter, a bunch, excuse me, a bunch of uh, um, effects, and even a built-in arpeggiator. So just going through a few sounds here. Really great stuff. Let's check it. Very bright sound. Noisy. Go down an octave. All right, old school wobbles. Let's uh, choose something from some bell like sounds FM. So, really great stuff, even a un built in unison section. If you can pass the ugly interface. Great synth, great sounds, and endless preset packs out there online. Uh, and you can, of course, make it uh, whatever color you want. Excellent. So that's the synth one. Good stuff. Next one, another beast, is the Tyrell N6. So this one is developed by Yuhi. It actually was released by this uh, German magazine called Amazona. Amazona, I think. Um, and it's uh, although it's on the Yuhi website, you download from Amazona, but uh, very simple. The idea was that they kind of did a survey between users to make a compact synth. They actually describe it as a compact, sporty synth. So it's really great, even though it's compact, it's extremely powerful. <clears throat> we actually have one video on our endless uses of LFO series doing glitchy keys uh, patch with this. But you have a mixer style a oscillator here. The oscillator is morphable between all the classic shapes. And we have two oscillators, one sub, one noise, a ring modulation, and even a feedback section. Uh, it's a dual filter. Uh, you can hear, you can choose like low pass, high pass, or a pan pass with a bunch of different uh, slope types, a key follow, two envelopes, and two LFOs, and even a built in uh, chorus section. Now it is somewhat inspired by the Juno 60. That's why we have the chorus, uh, but uh, really great features here, like the re-triggering of the LFO, have some very interesting uh, re-triggering, like random, single, and sync. Uh, so you can create some very interesting sounds here. The presets, uh, you know, not a crazy amount, but uh, definitely really great to get you started um, with, uh, with just uh, playing around with it. Let's go over a few presets here. Let's check it out. A 
some organs, some bright synths, some effects, brass. So a huge range of sounds. Can do a lot with. Um, so very cool stuff. Um, not no other built-in effects except the also except the chorus, but uh, you can uh, do so much uh, with sound design. We just it's very simple, so it's quite friendly to uh, beginners. There's also even the oscillator modulation here. You can do a bunch modulate the pulse uh, uh, width and the vibrato. Um, highly recommended. It's free. Should be in your arsenal of synths. Next one. It's called Dext. Uh, this is an emulation of the Yamaha DX7, the legendary FM synth. It's uh, somewhat um, simple, considering it's an FM synthesizer. We have six different operators here, or oscillators in the FM lingo. Um, and a very basic uh, filter, very basic uh, envelope and LFO. The envelope is quite interesting because it just uh, stages in their, uh, their amount. So you can create some interesting shapes here uh, with the with the envelope, kind of a multi-stage envelope. Um, it comes with a lot, a lot of uh, presets, so you can start checking it out. Really good stuff. You can, of course, download a lot more. Let me arm it. Well, very FM. Now, what's nice about it that uh, if you have the Yamaha DX7, you can actually uh, check out the manual. We gave a link that gives a good reference to this synth because it's modeled after this. And I think you can even load patches uh, from the DX7 or vice versa, have up to 32 different routing algorithms here uh, in this uh, routing um, window. And even a feedback section, you can uh, feed back to, uh, back to the operators uh, for some extra gnarly sounds. So uh, great stuff, uh, each operator is identical and you can do some very interesting things here, even show you what the ratio here uh, when you do the course and fine tune. So very cool stuff. Uh, if you're looking for an FM synth, more for those eerie type of bells, pads, uh, plaques, I'm sure you can even create some more nasty sounds, the modern sounds, or at least the uh, basis of them so you can add your own effects. Really great doesn't come with any effects, so you will have to incorporate your own effects in your DAW, and even sequencers or arpeggiators, it's just a plain, um, you know, noisemaker for uh, FM. So Dext, based on the Yamaha uh, DX7. Okay, next one, this is from Full Bucket uh, Music. Um, he has a bunch of other synths for free, which is amazing. This one is based on the Korg, PS3300, uh, um, which is an old, old synthesizer. And it's actually three different synths in one. So if you can see block A, block B, and block C, they're actually identical. It's three synthesizers in one. Um, it's somewhat harder to use than the other synths. You actually need to read some of the manual or have experience with the original one uh, to see what's going on here. Uh, it is semi-modular in a way. Uh, with menu context, you can uh, kind of just route whatever you need. And it even have uh, micro tuning, so each note can be slightly off tune, and you even have a bunch of built-in scales here, uh, micro tuning scales that you can choose that will um, repeat each one of the notes, which is uh, very cool. Um, the modulation section is somewhat rem um, reminding me of the MS20. Again, not the friendliest, but really powerful. Comes with nice type of, uh, with a bunch of uh, presets here. So you can learn it, uh, extensive manual. And it also has some other free synths. Check out this dude website. Uh, he has the PG3200, uh, 3100, and a bunch of other ones, emulations of old school synthesizers. Let's check some sounds. Oh, let me arm the track. Ah, 
Oh, that's, that's a cool pitch band. Um, so as you can hear, kind of old school brass sounds, pad sounds, key sounds, but uh, awesome stuff and very powerful because it's basically three of these versions in one. So you can create some very uh, insane layers uh, and complex sound. The PG, the FB 3300 free. Check this one out. Okay, next one is the PG-8X. Uh, it's nice, it's simple, but it is uh, an emulation of the JX-8P from uh, Roland. And you can actually, uh, if you make something here and you have the original synth, you can send the preset there and you can get the presets from the synth using CSEX messages. Uh, so pretty cool. Uh, very simple. It doesn't come by default with its own library of sounds, but we gave you a link to download a bunch of them. One thing that kind of it's cool here that you have a random button, so you can just go and randomize. And if you need like weird sounds, you can just randomize until you find something. Of course, a built-in chorus. Cool stuff, but uh, simple. Uh, basically, was designed as an editor for the JX8P uh, original synth. So simple, two oscillators, mixer section, uh, filter, amplifier, envelopes, two envelopes, and one LFO. And we also have the chorus section here. It does have aftertouch, which is cool if you have an aftertouch uh, controller, uh, supported controller. And under the settings, you also have some interesting stuff like how much the filter noise and the unison detune, how much is detuned. So uh, quite nice. PG-8X, check it out. Okay, next one is a synth that is extremely friendly to beginners. So if you're just beginning with sound design, if you're just uh, starting out with synthesizers, this is amazing. It cannot be simpler than this. I guess maybe just one oscillator and that's it. But... This one is great. So uh, it does come with a good amount of presets. All of them are nice. But so simple. One oscillator. The detune section here is actually pretty fat, which is nice. Let's go default. Really big super saw. I think they mix up to nine different voices. Uh, one LFO, one filter, one envelope. Uh, you have a drive. It can be pre or post. And here is the control section. If you want to map anything to the velocity or the modulation wheel, make it monophonic legato. So extremely simple. Developed by Archetype Instruments. Check it out. Locomotive. If you beginner. This one is amazing to start getting the hang of synthesizers before moving on to more complex ones. Locomotive. Okay, next one is quite famous, quite legendary. You might use it before if you go after free synthesizers. And this is the Noisemaker from Tal Music, which has a bunch of free uh, synthesizers and effects really great reverbs, uh, a bunch of those stuff, and also some commercial plugins he started releasing a few weeks, uh, a few years ago. So this one is nice because the layout, <coughs> excuse me, the layout is very simple. Um, we got two oscillators here, one LFO. Here we can go to the show the second LFO with the filter envelope and the filter and the envelope. We even have a multi-stage envelope generator, which is nice, uh, and some uh, controls to control all the different uh, expression, velocity, pitch wheel, and all of those. Uh, so very simple, it does come with a good amount of presets. You can load them from right here in Ableton. And all of them are pretty fat, pretty big. Let's check out some basses. Let's do some keys. Uh, very good stuff, uh, free, of course, Tal Noisemaker. Here's some other synths you can check out, 
but this one is probably the most popular and the interface is so clean so uh, clear uh, you can uh, understand what's going on and make your own sounds pretty quickly so check it out nothing too special about it but uh, very straightforward and great okay next one is the OBXD so this was originally developed by a developer called 2DAT and then it was picked up by Disco DSP which are pretty famous they have some uh, like the Discovery Pro synth and so on you have a few synths that are famous uh, it's free you can donate but it's completely free if you want and it's uh, based on the Oberheim synths the OBX, OBXA and OB8 so it's quite uh, simple uh, but uh, they're trying to maintain the fatness of the original sound and it does come with uh, it doesn't come sorry it doesn't come with any presets uh, but you can change the skins and again it's pretty straightforward with uh, two oscillators filter envelope nothing too much <coughs> and some modulation capabilities <laughs> But we can already, out of the bat, hear that fat, kind of brassy type of Oberheim sound. Noise generator. Right, and it's uh, very old school, so the oscillators can only be saw or a pulse, uh, those things, so... Uh, very cool stuff. You can even do some voice variation here, which is nice. So each voice will have a different panning, uh, which is cool, kind of make it more stereo. Um, very nice stuff. Okay, next one is the TuneFish. So the TuneFish was actually developed by a group of uh, developers for more like uh, art installations, technological installations and stuff like that that are synchronized with, uh, or with video. Now, uh, this is TuneFish 4. I think the earlier versions are actually a slightly different synthesizer, so you can also check them out. But this is uh, an additive synthesizer uh, that is simplified for us to be to use it and here in the oscillator section we actually have this display so we can remove the amount of harmonics here we have all the harmonics and the actual uh, waveform which is very cool uh, damp it so everything you do here will be um, visualized in the visualizer really great stuff to access a, a very complex type of uh, additive synthesis with ease and for free uh, we also have slope here, which will slightly detune everything, kind of like a micro detuning for a more analog vibe. And we do have a bunch of presets here we can check out. Oh, let me arm it again. That's a f really fat bass. Nice. Now we don't really have any arpeggiator here or anything. Uh, everything here happens from the actual modulation. And the mod matrix here is quite uh, easy to use, right? Two LFOs, two envelopes. You can just map them and then you get access to all the different parameters you can modulate. Really great stuff. And here's the amount. Super awesome. Now we do have a bunch of effects and they all can be stacked as well, which is great. You can just stack them however you want up to 10, which uh, is pretty heavy really big even a formant filter here let's choose formant so it's enabled so uh, so a lot of effects very simple the filter here is interesting because it's divided into four types it's just four separate filters low pass high pass band pass and notch but they're separate it's not like multi-mode when you switch between them you just uh, turn them on and use them so tune fish really cool stuff uh, additive, simplified additive synthesis um, with a bunch of effects can be stacked up and really extensive uh, modulation uh, section uh, for a free synth. It's, uh, it's great. So that's TuneFish. Nice. And last one, last free synth we got for you today is the Sina. I hope that's how you say it. So it's very noisy, very distorted, uh, it's only one oscillator, but it's all based on wave shaping. 
developed by new softing and it's uh has even like this delay matrix here so it's quite interesting for plug sound distorted sound very noisy type of sounds let's see if we can go over some presets here check it out oh let's me arm it right very noisy Check more, let's check uh, some pads. Dude, I'm shooting a video. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so as you can hear, very noisy, very type of... Uh, uh, feedback based the delay matrix here is very cool because it can go anywhere from like slight chorus to complete delays uh, which is very nice I didn't see that much in other synths uh, delay matrix and not much going on we do have this tooltip right here that will explain what what's happening which is cool we even have a built-in EQ here and a built-in reverb just those are the two effects so very simple uh, Cena from new softing check it out those are our top 12 free synthesizers. Uh, let us know if we missed anything that is multi-platform, both for PC and Mac. Some of them are even for Linux. We'd love to check them out. And we'll catch you next time.